es la historia, mi querido Jax, de cómo mi primo terminó anexado en el norte de México. <risa> Lo extraño mucho. La verdad suena una historia que te pasaría a ti más que a tu primo. Yo era mi primo. <risa> bueno, eso explicó muchas cosas. Mi tía es mi mamá. ¿Para qué? Por eso salí con los ojos por... <risa> Pomni, una pregunta. ¿A ti te gustaría viajar al norte de Perú? ¿A quién le gustaría ir a Perú? Algo. No tiene siquiera tiene sentido. Ni siquiera tiene sentido. ¿Y tú qué haces ahí, maldita ficha de ajedrez? Solo está viéndonos ahí. Oh no, empezó a girar. Este circo es un fiasco. Yo solo Como tú comprenderás. No, la ficha. Yo creí que ustedes estaban encerrados conmigo, pero me equivoqué. No? Tú estás encerrado con nosotros. Bo Bolivia. <risa> We've all been through this. You just need to get your head to What the no, no, no. going on? What? No, 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 my dear. We can't have any of that foul language around here. The amazing digital circus is a place to be enjoyed by all ages. You, my friend, stumbled into an incredible world of wonders where anything can happen. Except for swearing. Oh my god. Uh, well, how do I, you know? It's Crybaby and Hoo Ha, most mentally stable and capable characters to be paired together. Lo que pasa que yo con este cuerpito no le impongo respeto a nadie. Por suerte tengo a mi amigo Mateo que mide 2 metros y me defiende. El otro día estábamos en el boliche. Pasó un tipo, ¡pum! Me empujó. Me dice, ahora te voy a cagar a trompadas. ¡No! Mateo venía a defenderme, un tipo me quiere matar. ¿Y qué dice él? Pero el problema es con tu amigo, no con vos. No, no, ahora el problema lo tenés conmigo. ¡Pum! Se agarraron las piñas, no sé qué. Y yo tipo, dale, Mateo, cagar a trompada. ¡Hacelo, mierda, Mateo! Una vez más, me defendió mi amigo. ¿Ready? Ya. Red light, green light, one, two, three. You're fast, okay. Red light, green light, one, two, three. Ah! Red light. Oh! Got you! Mi presentación con la pequeña ragata. Avísame si lo encuentras. No le tienes miedo a los cien pies, ¿cierto? ¡Yes! ¡Ese es literalmente mi único miedo! ¿Por qué lo hiciste? ¿Qué? Solo preguntaba cualquier cosa. No lo sabrás hasta que sea tarde. <risa> Y unas fotitos. Encontramos a otra ragata al terminar. Sígueme para ver al grupo completo. Las montañas, caballo. Estoy llegando a mi límite. Omni, de algo chistoso. Algo no, chistoso. Bueno. <risa> Oh, that's 
not waste any time. Let's get right into the show. Well, let's not waste any time. Let's get right into the show. I'm coming home, sweetie. I'm back in the fucking building again! <laughs> oh my god! What are you, a uh, rabbit or something? Yeah, Alright, well, we have a lot of good costumes in there. Have fun. Oh, excuse me! If you're looking for the all powerful wizard, all you must do is follow the yellow brick road. Follow the yellow brick road! 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 Good. You found your way. You ready to make some magic? <laughs> we got a flag on the play. I'm sorry, man, but you're far too sexy to be at this party alone. I'm gonna need you to go ahead and put your number in my phone. I'm gonna have to throw you out of here. <sighs> oh, yeah. Hey, you! I'm gonna need your number in my phone right now. Don't go call your boyfriend, okay? Don't move. Oh shit, you really can't see shit in this thing, so. Never mind. Top three best Halloween costumes to wear. Last video we talked about the worst and now we're gonna talk about the best. Halloween weekend is lit. It's pretty much a double XP event. It's the easiest time to level up and snag a biddy. And wearing these costumes is only gonna increase your chances. Number three, I'm doing Space Jam jerseys. You could do the OG or the new. If you were thinking of being a basketball player, do this instead. That extra creativity is gonna push you over the edge to snag a biddy. And if you already got a girl, dress her up as Lola Bunny so y'all can match on some cute shit. Number two, I'm doing the Akatsuki robe. This is always a safe bet. If you and your homies all pull up in Akatsuki robes, not only is the flicks going to be fire, y'all going to be pulling biddies from every angle, but they're probably going to be girls who watch anime and you know, those can be pretty hit or miss. And if you don't like that idea, dress up as Tanjiro and for some extra added flair, draw his demon slayer mark on your forehead with a marker. That's going to get you a biddy. Before we get into the number one spot, I got to do an honorable mention. So I'm going to go a vampire or prisoner. A vampire is a bit basic, but we know these girls be watching Twilight or like Vampire Diaries, so it might work. I'm saying cop because one, we know girls love going for the bad guys. And two, we already know 60% of girls dress up as cops for Halloween. So you can easily like, you know what I'm saying. Number one, I'm going any superhero jumpsuit, but check me out, you can't wear the mask. You gotta have a fresh cut. You're Superman, Spider-Man, Miles Morales, Batman, Flash, Captain America, Danny Phantom. Try to find one that's got that little neck piece, bro, bro, bro. Yeah, you know what? You can just thank me later. He wins, you win. You win, bro. Blank man, that's a win right there. That's a win. You guys want to know how I put on the suit, huh? First, I put on this red spandex suit, which I'm not doing right now. Then, a custom-made harness to help keep up the legs. Then I slide up the thighs and buckle them in. Then, I step into the shin and the shoe with the help of this little strap. 
Once the legs are on, I buckle in the oh-so-flattering codpiece. Then I put on the back and I wear it like a backpack. It sits over my shoulders and buckles around my waist. I put on this headband for comfort and I put the helmet on. Now I can put the jaw on later, I just can't plug in the helmet while I have the arms on. Now from here, I have to slide up the biceps and buckle them in so they don't slide down. Now here comes the tricky part. I put on the chest, abs, and shoulders all in one piece. It's held together with Velcro on my waist and shoulders. Now I can put the jaw on. Now I carefully put on the forearms and gloves. Once the gloves are on, I have full control of the suit. Take care. nicely. The base was quite comfortable. The vest was big but adjustable. The utility belt was very detailed. The shoes are a lot nicer than I thought they would be. The details on this belt are insane. I got a medium and everything fits perfectly. The elbow pads did slip off but that's fixable. to the best men's Halloween costumes you could possibly wear this year. This is going to be a two-parter because we have so many ideas, but today we're going to start with four. An obvious home run right at the gate, Carmi from the Bear. This one would be so easy. You probably have a lot of this stuff in your closet. You're going to need a pair of Dickies, a crispy white t-shirt, a navy apron. Obviously, you could go with these Birkenstocks, but if you don't already own them, don't run out and buy them. That's not worth it, especially if you're only wearing one time. Instead, I would go with something like a Converse. I don't think it'll change the look too much, and you might even already own them. Next up is Lionel Messi. For this one, you're gonna need to break out the shin guards from high school, so stay with me. You're gonna snag a jersey, these Adidas running shorts, and some matching socks. Obviously, you might not own soccer cleats, so you could thrift those or just wear your regular shoes. If you wanna make it really good, definitely get a fake temporary tattoo sleeve. I think that would be really fun. You knew I was gonna say this one, Ken from Barbie. Specifically in this coat, though, I think this is the best look. You can definitely thrift a fur coat, they're everywhere, but if you can't find one, this one's a really good option. These pants from Lululemon really match the vibe, but if you know somebody with a cricket, you can get some bonus points if they can make you like a Ken sticker. That might be fun. This bandana from Gap, I love this. I might buy it for just like regular life though. Etsy has a lot of Ken jewelry, and I think this would be really great to tie the look off. They're a very easy one, but it does kind of require a partner for it to make sense, you know? You're gonna need somebody willing to dress up. You might already own this, but you'll need a gray full zip hoodie, the matching gray shorts. Very importantly, you'll need yellow Crocs and a pink snapback to wear on top of your hoodie. These are all definitely very easy and you probably have a lot of these pieces in your wardrobe already. We're gonna be continuing this series, so definitely follow along to see part two.